Welcome back. It is Mother's Day. I have made this video specifically for Mother's Day because Chess.com has three new bots and I think they're probably only going to be available for a day or two. There's the mom with cookies, the mom with hugs, and the mom with advice. Last one is rated 1600, so I don't know if I'll make it that far. But we're going to start with this 800 rated bot. I'm going to select mom with cookies. It says this mom has made cookies for you because she wants to see you smile. She enjoys the game, but prefers cookies. Well, my own mother doesn't play chess, never has as far as I know, but maybe your mother does. This one does, although it's a bot, so kind of not the same as an actual mother. We're going to play against D4, okay. Usually lower rated bots in this range make some sort of mistake. Early, I is this the, this is the Trompowski attack. I don't remember what the best response to that is. I think I can put the knight there and just take the bishop, can't I? But then I've given up some claim to the center. I don't know. That's one thing that happens with some of these bots is they always give me really strange openings that I'm not sure what to do about. Like here, I'm going to move the knight again, and then I'm going to get uh, get hit with that pawn, and then I'm going to have to go somewhere else. Should I just take a pawn now and and be done with that since I'm up a piece? Or should I try to run away with this knight? I, I guess I'll try to run away with it. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do now that they're pushing all those pawns. Well, I am going to stop that one from pushing. And then it's kind of weird to Fianchetto right now since my knight is one square off of where it normally goes. But I am up a piece, so I don't know. Or should I try to divert one of their center pawns with this C pawn? Is that a good idea? I don't know. Uh, okay, I'll just take that center pawn then. If they take with the knight, I will trade. If they take with their pawn... Then we've done that. Okay. I think I want to bring this back this way. Then move the E pawn and get that bishop out. Or do I want to not castle since they've got these pawns already kind of advanced over here? Don't know. Well, now I've got two pawns hitting that. Will they make a move to defend it? They did not make a move to defend it. So let's get rid of my misplaced knight here if they want to trade for it. They do. Okay. You could do that. Or I could put this knight back where it goes. Let's do that. I still haven't done almost any development, but... Neither has my opponent. Their king is vulnerable in the middle. I'm wondering if I shouldn't get this light squared bishop out. That's a pretty safe square for it right now. No pawns can get at it. I know that. Okay, that I'm not too worried about. Now I can develop. I don't want to go all the way up because I don't, I'm not defending that while my knight is pinned. But I can get the dark squared bishop out now. Maybe just to here, to, uh, to e7. Or should I go ahead and force that bishop issue? Let's see if they want to do this. They, they did not. Okay. Should I worry about that pawn? Maybe I should because of where their queen is. I should take the bishop first, right? If that pawn advances, I, then I can just go there. Okay. Their queen just went one move further. All right. Well, now I can get the dark squared bishop out. That pawn's currently undefended. I don't know if it will soon be defended. And it looks like I'm going to keep my king in the middle for now. Okay, they did defend that and came after this bishop. Probably good on their part. Guess. Oh, and then when I move the bishop, they're going to hit this pawn. Well, then I can defend the bishop, can't I? Yeah, it looks like we're keeping the king in the middle. Okay, that's if I take. Then again, they get this pawn here. I think maybe I want to get my queen off here one of these ways and, and, uh, and then put my king off to connect my rooks. Maybe I should get my king off the back rank now. There we go. Yeah, now I'm not worried about any of these weird things happening down here, like that pawn is, is currently protected by my king, but so that's not good. Maybe I should protect it with my queen and line up my queen with their king. Let's try that. Oh, they, they castled anyway. Very interesting. Well, I can check that. Oh, also that castling move undefended this pawn. Is that a good idea to take that? And then I can always put the bishop back, right? Let's take that. And then I can put the bishop back, I think... Unless, okay, they've done that. Um, I'm going to put the bishop back. This will clear off a path for this pawn to come through. I think the next thing, it looks like they might want to push here. I think I'm okay there. I'm going to chase this knight off. I don't know where it's going to go. It went there. Okay. They are still guarding this pawn. Let's see. Should I keep pushing? If I push my H pawn, they can put the knight back. And then they'll have two defenders uh, on that square because their knight will be defending that. So I, the, the pawn push may not be the best idea. Hmm. I'm not sure. What do I need to do here? Or you know what? I, I have now, if I keep pushing this pawn, I'll have two rooks available for that file. I just don't want the knight to be able to get back in there. That's that's the problem here. 
Is there any other way I can keep that knight from coming back in there? Is there a way I can get rid of this pawn without breaking up my little pawn chain here? Eh, I can't really get that knight around that way. Oh, but I can get the knight around to keep their knight from coming back in. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'm going to try that. Put the knight here to guard that spot and then push my h-pawn. Oh, they're, they're going to do it that way. Well, then let's go here. Um, I think I just won their queen because I'm going to put my bishop here protected by my queen and it'll be pinned to their king. And yeah, we can take that. They're in check. They will have to move. Then, don't know if I want to give up this bishop yet, but it would be nice to get it out of the way. Yeah, let's do that. I will have a check here after they take back. They, did, they took back with the rook. Okay, then I think I can check here. They can block with the rook, but then, uh, but then I can take this pawn. I, I want to keep pushing these pawns and just fully assault this king. They're going to push some pawns of their own over there. Let's see if we can do something about that rook. It went in there. That's, that's okay, I guess. Now, if I go here, they're going to push that pawn to protect the rook. So what if I went here? Then they could... They can't bring the rook back because my pawn's there. And then I'm blocking the pawn from coming in. And then I can bring my bishop back this way. Oh, they went there? Okay. Well, let's keep pushing the pawn then. That I, I'm not worried about them taking because that rook is undefended. So let's keep pushing this pawn here. They have moved their rook over to, to come in here. Surely not. Let's check. Well, that was checkmate, wasn't it? All right, a checkmate with a pawn. It took me 35 moves, as this thing here says I have three blunders, but we'll find out in the game review how many blunders it thinks I have. In case you're lower rated and we're wondering, this rook cannot take that pawn, because it is pinned by this rook. That would put them in check. And the king can't take the pawn because the queen is guarding it. And the king can't move over because the bishop is guarding that square. Just in case. I know that I have players around my level watching this channel. That seems to be the majority of you. Then there are a handful who are above my level and some number that are below. So I, sometimes it's hard to know which things I need to explain or should explain. Okay, the game review says I have zero inaccuracies, zero mistakes, zero misses, and zero blunders. That's hidden behind my camera view there. And the bot only made one mistake in one blunder, which looks like we're very early. I think, is that when it gave up the bishop? I'm going to guess it was here. Yeah, that was the blunder which allowed me to take the bishop. I assume taking the bishop was my only move. Okay. And then after that, I did very well. As always, in case you didn't know, I do link to these games in the description in case anyone wants to play through, because sometimes in this case, I don't go through the entire analysis. If any of you are curious about that or you thought I had a better move, the link to the game will be in the description that is accompanying this video. I'm going to play the next bot. The next bot... From, I assume for Mother's Day, is Mom with Hugs rated 1200. This supportive and loving mom enjoys nothing more than hugging her baby. No matter what you do, she will always have her arms open wide for a hug. Well, that seems nice. Uh, let's play that one. I have occasionally not done well against 1200 bots, just fair warning, so I'm going to click play, and it looks like I get the white pieces this time. And I have been switching to E4, so I should play this bot with E4, even though I am vastly unfamiliar with most of the positions. And we'll see. What, okay, we got E5. Now, I have come up with a couple of different things here. I've, I've looked at the center game, which is okay. I've done okay with that. In some bullet games, I haven't played it in rapid yet, at least not in a long time. I have played the Vienna game in my previous video. I haven't looked very deeply into it. And I've played the Rui Lopez in a video before that. Not sure what I should do here, but... I'm going to play the Vienna, just because it seems like it worked out okay for me. I don't think that's a move in the Vienna, is it? I can move my other knight out. I mean, this, this move here prevents me from playing the Vienna Gambit, that's for sure, because I can't move that pawn now. But I could move the knight out, which is a normal developing move. Threatens the queen and that pawn. Is that the best move here? I think it is, because I want to castle fairly soon, including getting the bishop out to c4. So let's... Let's play that, see where the queen goes. It went right in there. That's interesting. That doesn't seem like a good idea because I want to play d4 next, don't I? And then that bishop will be that bishop will be threatening the queen. I mean, I also want to get this bishop out, but let's go ahead and threaten the queen with the bishop and force it to move again. It went back there, which is probably fine, but now I can take this pawn, threatening the queen again. It will be defended by the knight. I think that's okay. Queen has moved again, aiming for this. Okay, now that one is sneaky because now I can't move this bishop out without fear of losing that pawn. There's probably something else I can do here. 
Can I now threaten knight to c7? I would like to do more development, but I'm not sure. And I, and I definitely don't want to give up that pawn if I don't need to. Or wait, is this the one where if I move this bishop out and they take that pawn, I can put the rook over? Because the queen's guarding the knight, the knight's guarding the rook, the knight's guarding that pawn, and the king's guarding that pawn, and my rook will be hitting that entire file. So they would have to come out to h3, and then I can put my rook up on g3, and their queen would have to go back even further? Maybe? I, I just don't know. It's I, I'm, I'm torn between these two moves. I'm going to go ahead and put the bishop out just because I need to develop my pieces. If the queen takes there, I will move the rook over. It did not take there. Well, then I should castle. Pretty sure. We're going to double some pawns. I, I have two sets of doubled isolated pawns here. I'm not too concerned about that. Also, I don't have the, the knight there anymore, so I can't threaten knight to c7. So maybe that was a good move at one point. It's not now. Don't know if I should push this pawn. I don't know which one they would take with. Um, I can develop some pieces here. Oh, you know what? That pawn's not protected right now, is it? This one is. The front e-pawn is protected by the knight, but the rear e-pawn is not protected. So I should move the rook over, or should I put the queen up here? I should get the queen off the back rank, I think. And that helps to protect this rear e-pawn. I was very, uh, strongly considering putting my bishop here, but now that they've done that, I think I need to put, put my a-pawn up to a4 and then put my bishop behind it, which will be pointed down this diagonal. Let's do that. Put my bishop here. They've put that knight back. Okay. I wanted to put this here. That'll prevent them from castling if, if the bot intends to castle. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. Okay. What, what does my plan need to be now? I guess I could just trade for that knight, and then they have to move the king to take it back, and then they can't castle, and their king is stuck in the middle. Let's do it. And I also uh, can look at putting some rooks on open files here. I cannot check currently, but I can start lining up some rooks on open files, like that one. Or should I bring the other rook over for that? I mean, they're probably going to put their rook here and then try to, to castle the slow way, and I'm not sure what to do about it. I could put my knight there in uh, hoping to bring it over here to f5, which would be before they could get their, their king around. But then from f5, once the king does move... Wait, no, if I do that, and they bring their rook over, and then I go over here to check, then they put their king back the way that they intended, and my, my knight's just sitting up here not doing much except being able to threaten the queen, which I can do from here. Did I threaten the queen from here? Where would it go? I mean, wait, if it went there, then I could fork the king and queen. Okay, and it won't go here because my queen would be guarding that square at the moment. I guess then it could come here. Went here, where would I go? Well, then I could check immediately, but again, oh, but then the king has to go back and block its own rook. That might be a viable plan. I'm not sure. Let's see where the queen goes. It went way over there. Um, okay, my bishop is defended, so let's check... First, see where the king goes. Is it going to go here to protect that pawn? Okay. Then should I go there? No, because then I undefend my bishop. And I shouldn't take the bishop now. I mean, the pawn. But I can go here and threaten the queen again. Oh, then it could take this pawn, though. That's okay. It's a doubled pawn. I don't need the front one, right? I don't know, but I do need to protect the bishop, I guess. Well, it's protected now if I don't do anything. If I don't move the queen, the bishop is protected. But I want to move the queen over here someplace threatening that. But then the bishop's not protected. Okay, well, so I should drop the bishop back one. Oh, but that leaves that pawn unprotected. That's frustrating. Well, I feel like this bot is doing a lot better than the previous one. There, the bishop's protected. They can have that pawn. How about that? They didn't take the pawn. Okay, they probably are thinking about moving that up. Let's put a rook on an open file. See if they play their c pawn. They, they didn't. They took my front pawn over there. Okay, I'm okay with that. What do they play if I put my rook up here? Guess they could sneak in behind that way. But my okay, my bishop is defended. I want to put my queen on g5, aiming at that pawn. And I assume at that point they'll move their rook over. Oh no, they might move the pawn forward. What do I do if they move the pawn forward? Let's see. If I go here and they move that pawn forward. Well, maybe I should go here then. And if they move that pawn forward, then I can check on h6. Okay, let's try that. That might not be good, but I I'm having trouble finding anywhere to go on this uh against this spot. Did that. It's too bad I can't check here with the with the knight, but they didn't move that pawn forward. So should I go here then, aiming at that pawn? Or should I go here, aiming at their queen? Oh, that pawn's that pawn's undefended. Wow. Oh, they took the wrong one, didn't they? No, they're not their queen's guarding that square. They took the wrong pawn. I'm I looks like I'm making a royal mess of this game. 
Oh, they they didn't just win because I can block that, but wow, they This bot is tenacious. Oh, they saw my plan of going in here? Well, I have no idea what to do. I'm probably gonna lose to this bot, which doesn't make me feel warm and fuzzy uh, like I would with a mom with hugs on Mother's Day. I'm I'm just missing some obvious things. All right. Well, that you saw what I almost did, right? Wow. The queen is still guarding their jeep on. I I have no idea what to do, and I feel like this video has already gone on too long. I'm just trying to end it at this point, and I don't feel like I have much here. Oh, wait, did the bot just give me mate? If I go here and they, they I think they have to take it and then I win with the rook, I, I could be way off. Maybe that's not it, but that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, oh, that was mate. Okay, well, I did that in only 26 moves, but I really do feel like the bot just gave it to me. So I'm going to click game review and we'll see how many mistakes or, and or blunders I made. Oh, I made much more in this one. And yes, I definitely did something really bad there. Okay, I had one blunder, one miss, and one mistake. I was ahead for much of the time, but then I slowly, slowly, slowly gave, a, gave it away until about right here when they played that inaccuracy, and then I gave the bot a huge advantage by playing queen to h4. Oh, I remember, yeah, okay. When I played queen to h4, I was kind of sneakily pointing down at this knight because if they didn't move the knight or make an effort to protect it, I, that would be mate. So it was definitely bad to do that. But at that point, I thought I was already lost because the queen was just going and zipping around through here. I'm guessing I should have brought this rook over. Oh, it. sorry, the lines were already on. I, I didn't realize that. Okay, because I wasn't expecting the queen to take that pawn, I didn't even think about the queen being there threatening my rook. But that makes sense. I should have brought the rook over. And then where did the bot give it back to me? The bot gave it back to me way over here. They had a minus five, minus six, according to the analysis tab. And they needed to bring the king this way when I put them in check. Well, that's what I thought. I don't know what they would have done if I had, if they had gone that way. But they went the other way and gave me mate. Okay, that was nice of the bot to let me win. So thanks for the hugs and cookies, right? We had cookies on the first one. Yeah, cookies on the first one, hugs on the second one. And now we're going to get advice. Well, I'm guessing this helpful mom that has lots of advice for you. She is a strong player, but is always happy to help on or off the chessboard. Well, let's just go ahead and assume this mom's going to teach me some things on the chessboard. I said I would play it, didn't I? Well, I don't think I've, maybe I've only ever beaten one 1600 rated bot. So we'll do our best. Okay, we're going to do the Karakon defense. We're going to get the, either the exchange or the advanced variation. No, we're going to get that variation. Okay, I do know this. Take the pawn. They take back with the knight. I go here. They're supposed to go to g3. Then I drop back. I have played this far before on this variation. They put that knight out there, usually. Sometimes they start this pawn advance first, but they did this. I think I wait. If they start their pawn advance, I play h6 so I can hide my bishop. But because they put that knight there, I think I can put my knight out, then prepare to play e6 and get my other bishop out. Okay. They castled. Suppose I should put my other bishop on d6. And now I might be in unfamiliar territory because of where that bishop went. Wait, that doesn't seem normal, does it? Is that going for this? If it does go for that, I'm just going to take it, right? After I castle, because I was planning on castling. It's not going for this because I still have the, the B pawn protecting the C pawn. So I guess it's going for that. Or is it offering a trade here, which would, I think, be bad for me since I haven't completed my development? No, no, I'm going to castle. And if it takes my light squared bishop, I'm going to take that way? No, it... Oh, right? Well, see, if I put this knight here, they could take and I would take, then they would take here, and I would have messed up my pawn structure the wrong way. So should I take this this first then? Or should I push this back? That's what I should do. I think I should push this back, protect that. Then play this knight here, threatening this trade. Okay, they did that, which I was fine with. I'm opening my rook here. Now I can move this knight. If I want to, I don't know if I want to. Well, I don't want to move it. I don't want to move it to d5 or e4 or f. Uh, sorry, g4. Well, what about h5? This this pawn is already misplaced. So if I play this bishop to h5, this knight to h5, which threatens their bishop, they could take there. But then I would take their bishop, I think, and we would be even. I think we would be even. I don't know if that's if that if I need to do that or not. I'm a little worried about their pawns there, but. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. 
Oh, it, it ran away. Well, I'm going to take their knight then and, and uh, double some of their pawns. Okay. Then should I put this knight over here? Or should I get, I should get my queen off the back rank first. They've backed up that bishop. Okay. Or should I throw this pawn forward? But then they, then they'll launch that one. I should push this pawn once, I think. And now these pawns are guarding a bunch of squares across here, right? All those squares are guarded by pawns. That one's guarded by a knight. That's guarded by a bishop. And that's guarded by a pawn. So I'm guarding all of those squares. That's pretty good, I guess. Just move their rook over. Okay, that... Oh, this pawn's not defended. Should I, should I go there? Because I'm defending that spot twice. Maybe. And then they pushed forward here. Oh, but I, uh, the only thing I have on that spot's a pawn. And they have two things on that spot. Okay. Well, I could let them take me. And then I could take back. But I'm getting some isolated pawns here. I don't know if that's good. Let's go here. They did want to trade that. Let's do that. They... Okay. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Uh, that... Oh, I, I actually anticipated that that's what was coming next. Well, I'll get out of the way then. Come on, 1600 rated bot. Pressure me in here. Oh, good grief. All the pawns are coming. <laughs> They're just going to lock it up. Okay. Well, let's at least get the rook out. No, no. Wow. Wow. That just came right in there. Okay. Well, I have no idea what to do. And as I said, I assumed before we started that I was going to lose to this bot. So I will try not to, but no guarantees. I'm going to put a rook here. To uh, get it in front of that, then I'm going to get my queen out of there to here where it can continue guarding the knight and my king. And then I can move my knight, maybe. Oh, I, I just lost another pawn. Well, that's fantastic. All right. Not really threatening anything and just moving my knight for the fun of it. But I might as well, and let's see, if I take that bishop, that just gets it out of the way of their stuff, doesn't it? All right. And I threatened their queen. Would that do any good? Or should I go here so I have two pieces hitting this pawn? Maybe I should do that. Well, they also have two pieces hitting the pawn, so maybe not the best plan. Okay. Where's oh, that's going right there, isn't it? I just kind of asked them to do that, didn't I? I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Except move my king. I can move my king. That way I do not get my queen pinned to my king. Okay. Let's do a queen trade. How about that? Yeah, that, that was getting really frustrating, so I decided to, to trade off the queens so that they would have less of an attack on me. They're going to come attack down in here, one way or the other. Wait, do that. Oh yeah, then I, I do this. They'll, uh, no, that can't be that bad as long as I keep my rooks together, right? But I have to keep my rooks together. I can't like just go chasing pawns or something, because then they'll come do this and I'll be in trouble. So maybe I need to get out this way or something. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. I... I have no idea what's going on here, and I'm feeling that pretty strongly. I don't see a way I can come after that pawn with both rooks, because again, I need these rooks to stay together. I Should I go forward one? I should go forward one, and then do this. Maybe. If they take. They didn't take. They ran away. Well, if I triple my pawns, that's not good, right? Well, they'll take back. But then that pawn will be undefended. Maybe. Is that good? Nope. Because they still have this. I need to get my king off the back rank first. Oh, then they're going to go over there and checkmate me. Okay. Okay, what if I do this? Oh, now they're, now they're guarding that. They could check me over there and then I can come back. But oh, they didn't check me over there. Okay. Oh, wow. I just, I just gave up the rook for a pawn. I didn't even... Okay. Well, again, I already assumed I was lost at this point. Can I even do now? I, I can't push that pawn. I mean, I could go here. Hey, okay. Wait, is this bot going to give it to me too? Because I know I'm lost, but you know, it's, it's going to do that. Okay. Well, it, I, I don't have that pawn anymore. Check, and then it's going to come closer to me, I assume. I could check. It, of course, it would get in front of that. I could check here. Oh, wait, that's not a check. Oh, that's, that seems dangerous. Is it this bot's this bot's gonna give it to me, or is it does it have a checkmating plan that I don't see yet? Like that. Well, I guess down here. 
Now it's going to give up the rook for the queen, or is it going to checkmate me some other way? It's going to take the queen, okay. Well, this is why I play these out to checkmate, I guess, because sometimes the bot gives it to you even though it shouldn't. All right, um, I, don't, I don't have a lot of options here. I guess take that pawn. No, don't take the pawn. Let me push it. Seems fun to me. I can't get my king off the back rank because of where their rook is, so should I just go toward their rook until it moves and then I'll get that pawn? Is that what I should do? Oh, it did that. Well, I'm still going to go toward it. Oh, well then, wait, there is their rook trapped? I mean, I can't get in there, but... Okay, now it's protecting the promotion square, but so is my rook. We're at move... Wow, we're at move 68 already. Well, sorry about this taking so long, but I, I'm, I'm doing poorly. Let's see. Well, you know what? Let's push that pawn. Okay, let's push it again. I don't, I don't know what else to do, so... Check. Get in front of the pawn. Okay, let's push that one. I can tell the spot's really trying to give me this game, but... It is instead going to go over there, so I should come here, probably, to aim for that pawn. Oh, it checked me there. Wait, can I go around in, in between them? Is it going to let me have these two pawns? I think I want to keep guarding the promotion square just in case. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's get a draw by insufficient material. No, it doesn't want to draw by insufficient material. I thought it would take my rook and I would take their rook and it would be over, but no, the bot wants to keep playing. Hoping I will lose, which I have already lost a couple of times, so... or several. Now we're gonna repeat, because that would be fun. We could. Okay. Well, I can force the draw here and be done with it. Alright. Well, I got a draw against a 1600 bot, and, a, and maybe I could have won that, I have no idea, but probably not. So it was, it, it seemed like a safe bet for me to just end it there. I'm going to click the game review because I, we all know that I was way behind and the bot just refused to beat me. Yeah, I was way behind the entire game according to that chart. The bot tried to give part of it back right here somewhere, got us down to plus one, but then I gave it back apparently. Oh, and there were places where, yeah, it was as, as much as made in 10 there, my, the little cursors in the way, but yeah, made in 10 at some point, plus 13, uh, plus 12, plus 10. Oh, there was a Maiden 9 that I just scrolled across, but I can't find it again. Yep, right there, Maiden 9. So, yeah, the, I definitely uh, definitely gave this game away to the bot and then it gave it back. Right here, the bot still had a huge advantage. And when I went there, the bot should have, should have checked me. Oh, and it says I would have gone up here. Oh, I wasn't going to, I was gonna go in there. But it says it was up plus 35 at that point. Okay, but it didn't check me. It, it took that pawn, which that allowed me to take that pawn. And from then on out, we were drawn. Okay. And both of us had multiple drawing moves for the rest of the game. Um, I don't know if it's worth it to go see where I gave it away because it looks like I gave it away very slowly here. Yep, very, very slowly. No mistakes. No mistakes. Until way out there. I was already well behind. Uh, the game review says we both played like 1350s. I, that, that's a little bit of a compliment to me, I think. But yeah, my first mistake wasn't until move 22. But before I made that mistake, oh, the game review said I was behind plus one. But the analysis board says we were still fairly even. And that throwing that pawn forward was a mistake. I should have played rook A to E8. Well, why would I have done that? I have no idea why I would have done that. But that's what I should have done. Or rook to F6. I also have no idea why I would have done that, except that it aims at this pawn. But I think they would have pushed this, and if I had taken, they would have still been defending that pawn. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it was talking about doubling over here. I have no idea. Or rook f to e8. But rook a to e8 was the best. But instead I did that, and that took us up off plus one. The bot should have played b5. No, the, sorry, the bot should have played f4 here. Oh, an attempt to undouble their pawns, maybe? And if I didn't take, they could push past and start messing things up, but that would have undoubled my pawn. So I don't know what f4 would have done, but that was their best move. Instead, they did that, which is what I expected them to do. And that turned out to, to make it even again. And I should have played knight to d4. Okay, I do see knight to d4. That would have been a nice, well-supported outpost square for the knight. Okay, that makes sense. But instead, I did that because their pawns got me distracted over here, and I let myself be distracted by it. They did play their best move. 
which was to lock their queen in here with this pawn, and I should have played rook a to d8 or f to d8. I should have put one of my rooks on d8. Or, completely unrelated to that, should have put my rook over, my queen over on f7. But I took the pawn. They should have played f4, but they took the pawn. And I should have moved my king. Really. The only move that's not a mistake is moving my king over. Because, because of this. Well, I, di I didn't. I did my third best move, which it said was inaccurate, but you can see from the way the eval bar drops, that was a mistake. Because we're now at plus three. But then the bot made a mistake to give some of it back, and I should have moved my king again, but I didn't. Oh, remember when I said moving my queen to f7 earlier was one of my best moves? Well, it's not now. If I had put it over there earlier so it was there now, then I'd be fine. But putting it there now is bad. Very, very bad. Because of... Not because of that. It says that's an inaccuracy. That's not an inaccuracy. That takes us from plus 4.7 to plus 1.2. That's a blunder. Yeah, so the game review's way off. I did play my best move here, which I should have played earlier, but I didn't. Now they play f4, but now that's a mistake, and we're even again. Okay, go back over here to the review. We're, we're over here, and the bot kept trying to give me the advantage back, but the game review exaggerates how much of an advantage the bot had in those early stages. But anyway, as you saw, I gave it away move by move by move, and uh, I got a draw out of it because the bot made a mistake. Thank you for spending your time here. Happy Mother's Day to those of you who are mothers, to those of you who have mothers, to those of you who want to be mothers, etc. We'll see you next time.